I'm joined by Special Advisor to the Edo State Governor on Media Projects, Kruso Osage. Kruso, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you for doing this with us this morning, or rather afternoon. Let's get started because we're pressed for time. What impact does this reinstatement of uh, Philip Tribe will have on the governance dynamics uh, within Edo State, regarding, particularly regarding you know, the relations between the executive and legislative branches, and even uh, the governor and uh, now the deputy? Yeah, well, uh, I, I don't know if I, I, I didn't get it quite clearly, but uh, uh, you're, you're talking about the two cases that uh, were adjudicated on by uh, his lordship uh, uh, yesterday in Federal High Court in Abuja. Uh, one of it was uh, the, the judgment affirming that Aswe Godalo is the candidate of the PDP. And, no, I'm, I'm uh, speaking. You know, I'm speaking on the reinstatement of the deputy governor, uh, Philip Shwaibu, yeah. and its impact uh, on on the yeah. governance dynamics within Edo State for his relationship with the governor, as well as uh, the relations between the executive and legislative. Yeah, I, I wanted to start from that from uh, Godalo's case because the two cases were heard in the same court yesterday. So Aswe Godalo has been validated to run as a candidate of the PDP and, and you know, incidentally, it's the same Philip Shaibu who, who took that matter to court trying to spoil the chances of the PDP from having a candidate at the, at the coming election. So it's now declared, uh, Aswe Godalo is the candidate of the PDP in the elections on the 21st of September this year. Then to Philip Shaibu's matter, uh, the Edo the State House of Assembly has since, you know, taken a stay of execution of the judgment and uh, we have proceeded to appeal that judgment. We believe that when more light is shed on the matter in superior courts, uh, the outcome will be will be different. But, but, but as we speak today, the, de the deputy governor of Edo State remains the current and incumbent deputy governor, who is that uh, His Excellency Marvelous or Mobile Godwins. Uh, consequent on the stay of execution of Philip's judgment, he, he cannot uh, he cannot act as deputy governor at this time. He has to wait till we hear the appeal, and we are going to appeal all the way to the Supreme Court if if it comes to that. Uh, so, so um, I, I don't think it's a consequential judgment at this moment. Uh, Philip Shaibu has no role in government at the moment. He just has to wait for his appeal to be heard, and then eventually, you know, if, if he has to go to the Supreme Court, then that's fine. The, the allegations. Now, he, Go ahead, please. For now, the government is being run by His Excellency, the Governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin of Basaki, and also supported by his deputy, a mobile of Godwin's, you know, marvelous. Now, the Governor uh, uh, of Basaki, there were allegations of uh, his stance. I want you to, be, to clarify the Governor's stance on the allegations of, of disclosure of government secrets that led to Philip Schreiber's initial uh, impeachment. Government secrets. What are his stand in, in, in stance in all of this? Yeah, I, I'm, a member, I'm a member of the executive, state executive council. Every uh, pro, every proceeding, every issue that is discussed at, this, at the state executive council is marked secret. You know, and which means that there are government secrets that cannot be disclosed. And 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 I can confirm to you that Philip Shaibu attached all those documents we 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 we, we deliberate on in ESCO. To certain court papers which he filed in Abuja, and 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 then and put and he put all of them in public view. So so that amounted to you know you know di disclosure of, of government uh, secrets. And so 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 that's one of the uh, one of the uh, issues leveled against him in the in the House of Assembly that led to his uh, that led to his um, impeachment. Uh, so yeah, you know we 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 take gov governance very seriously in those state. We follow the rules. Very seriously, uh, Philip, because of his fixation on running for governor, you know, sort of puts governance on the back seat and uh, threw caution to the wind and started breaking every rule, including disclosing uh, government secret documents and, and several other violations that he made. He was summoned by the House of Assembly a number of times to come and defend himself. You know, when the panel was set up to investigate him, he, he you know, he, he thought they were not worthy of his time. He never showed up in any of the hearings. And all of that led to his impeachment. Now, um, you just said that uh, in your first submission, you said that uh, he's, in spite of this ruling, 
he still needs to get to the superior, the superior courts before he can be reinstated. For, for now, he is not the deputy governor. That's what you're saying, uh, in spite of this re 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 reinstatement. And so, how does the, how does, what's, what, what's the broader implications of, of this then, of this court ruling? If, if, you know, if the court is ruling this, what's the broader implication and the legal challenges that the state would have to face uh, uh, in, in its entirety? Yeah, well, no, no serious um, implications to the state. The matter is in court. The judiciary is a completely different arm of government from the executive. We are carrying on with our, our work in a do state. The governor has his eyes, eyes fixed on November 11, 2024, which is the la his last day as governor. And we're doing everything to make sure we, we finish strong. Uh, the matters will go on in court. We'll, the, uh, the state of execution has been obtained. The matter has been filed in the in appeal, it's been filed in the appeal court to appeal the judgment. Lawyers will do their work. Uh, you know, Philip should get ready. You know, he will go to appeal court, he will go to Supreme Court if need be, you know, and, and, and that doesn't affect gov government in, and governance in any way, shape or form. We have a governor in place, we have a deputy governor in place, we have a governor in place in, in the person of Godwin Obaseki, we have a dep deputy governor in place in the person of Mumbai Godwin's Marvelous. All right. Well, many thanks for doing this with us, uh, Chris Osage. I appreciate you for coming on. Thank you very much for having me.